Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So today I'm going to show you how to play RPG Maker games on your RG351 devices. Now RPG Maker actually came out in 2000 and I remember it making kind of a big stir because it allowed people to create games without having to know how to work coding or anything else like that. And here we are 21 years later and people are still making games for it. And some of them are really incredible. Now the coolest thing about it is that there is an RPG Maker emulator available in RetroArch. And both ArcOS and 351 Elec have incorporated it into their firmwares. So you're basically able to play any RPG Maker 2000 or 2003 games on your device, and almost all of them are freely available. So if you love things like homebrew and role-playing games, this is a perfect match for you on your RG351 device. So without any further delay, let's check this out. Okay, now in my written guide, which I have linked below, I have a bunch of games listed already, but most of them I actually found on RPGMaker.net. And you can just go through here and just download your games right then and there. And additionally, some games are available on Steam. So for example, this game, Grimm's Hollow, is probably one of the most award-winning RPG Maker games, and it's available free on Steam. So all you have to do is just install this game onto your computer. Now I'm going to walk you through this process using ArcOS, but the 351 Elect process is in my written guide linked below. So all you have to do is go into your Easy ROMs partition and then the Ports folder, and you'll find an Easy RPG folder there. And each game is going to have its own folder in there. So let me show you what kind of folders you're going to want to need. Let's start by taking a Steam game. So I'm going to go into my Steam Libraries, Steam Apps, Common, and then I'm going to pull the game here. So we're talking about Grimm's Hollow at this point. And if you look in the folder contents of Grimm's Hollow, you're going to find two particular files that you're going to need to make sure it runs on this device. And they're going to be named rpg underscore rt dot ini and dot ldb. And those two files need to be there in order for it to boot. So once you've verified that your folder has those two files, all you have to do is just drag that folder over into your easy RPG folder. And that's it. Here we are. We're good to go. Now looking at other games that I've pulled from RPGMaker.net, you can see they have those same two files again. Again, that's really all you need is to make sure you have that main folder that has those two files in there. Those are your boot files, which are going to execute everything else within the folder. Now, another thing that's really helpful is to install runtime packages onto your device. Now, these are basically a series of assets that some games will pull from. That way, it allows the games to be a bit smaller in file size. So you're going to want to go to this site, which I also have my written guide linked below, and then just download these runtime packages for both RPG Maker 2000 and RPG Maker 2003. Now they're going to come up as exe files. So what you want to do is make two new folders called 2000 and 2003, and then right click on the exe file, go into 7-zip, and then open archive. And if you don't have 7-zip installed already, just go ahead and install that. It's a really great app. And then just drag all those files into the appropriate folder that you created. Now this process is most important on Arc OS because they don't have these files already pre-installed, but on 351 Elec, if you're already comfortable with installing packages on your device, you can actually go in and find the package and install it. And I have more information on that in the written guide link below. Alright, so once you've created your 2000 and 2003 folder, we need to put them in your BIOS folder on your EasyROMs partition. What you're going to want to do is make a folder called RTP within your BIOS folder, and then move over those 2000 and 2003 folders into that folder. I feel like I've said the word folder like 10 times, but you know what I mean. After that, you're done. Go ahead and exit out, put the SD card back into your device. So we're going to go into the port section and open up Easy RPG. Now in ArcOS, it has this handy browser here. You're not going to find this on 351 Elec, but this is pretty neat, right? So you just go into games and then you pick whatever game you want to launch. So let's start with Grimm's Hollow. Now these RPG Maker games are not like graphically amazing. And most of them have like just a turn-based battle system, so it's nothing fancy, but they really do remind me of like Super Nintendo era role-playing games. So if you really love those and you've already played through all the classics, this is a great way to find these new classics. And I would say Grimm's Hollow is definitely one of those. Now, another cool thing about RPG Maker is just the ingenuity of some of these people who have made these games. So, for example, Final Fantasy VII Genova Corona is basically a sequel to the original Final Fantasy VII. So if you love Final Fantasy VII and you want to just kind of keep going with the story, here is one person's interpretation of that. 
I also find that a lot of these RPG Maker games are really kind of unique in some of the like emotional maturity in them. So for example, this game, Yume Nikki, you basically traverse between the sleeping world and the waking world. And there's all sorts of cool like existential questions about life and the universe and things like that. And I really like games like this where they kind of get deep and hot and heavy. And it's really cool to see this subject matter in some of these games. At the end of the day, this may not be your cup of tea, but if you do like role-playing games and you want to try something new and you want to see some things that other people have just come up with on their own, this is a really unique example. And like I mentioned before, almost all of these games are freely available. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful for you. And we will see you next time. Happy gaming.